If I had one piece of last minute advice to give you for your preparation for the Leaving Cert Physics exam, it would be to concentrate on Section A part of the exam. Now, in Section A, you're going to get four questions. You must answer three of those questions, each valued at 10%. So that's three tens, that's 30%. That's a sizable part of your examination. The great thing about Section A is they can only quiz you on the mandatory experiments. There's 24 of those, so they pick four of those experiments. Now, if 23 of those experiments have already been asked, which is the case in the last number of years, basically all your questions, definitely three, most likely all four, will be repeat questions. So what you do is you work on the past paper questions, but, but more importantly, the solutions to the past paper questions which we use here in the Institute. Now, things to watch out for would be, does the actual experiment have a graph? If so, what goes on the y-axis, what goes on the x-axis? Um, is there a mathematical formula with the experiment? Is that one of the ones I must memorise or is that in the maths tables? Um, what data do I record in the experiment? They always like to ask you about the data and of course the all reliable, the diagram. And of course when I say a diagram I mean a label diagram. Our old rule is no labels, no marks. Now the great thing about starting the exam with section A is you're doing questions you've actually seen before. You know exactly what to write, you get started, you're working, your nervousness greatly lessens in fact, you relax into the examination and you get what I call this, this feel-good factor about writing stuff you're familiar with. And that feel-good factor not only benefits you in Section A, but the benefit carries over into Section B. And that exam is going to go very well for you.